despite everything, we have got off to an amazing start once again. Nobody could have imagined this. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport. And if you're a first time visitor here, then why not subscribe, like, watch and comment and help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that we are mentioning above. If you are following along already, you will know that um, we had last time we had just beaten Watford and we were in seventh, but we are doing even better than that now. We have risen to fifth in the Premier League and we have 16 points from nine games. And basically what's happened since you were last here, you saw us beat um, Newport in that amazing 4-0 victory, but then uh, we played our reserves in the Caribou Cup and we um, unfortunately lost to the same team, Watford, by four goals to two. Not a bad result with the reserves. Against Aston Villa then, the plan backfired because we were defeated at home by three goals to nil, thinking keeping the first team fresh would have helped, but it didn't. But then we bounced back again and had this amazing 3-1 win against West Ham. That was followed by a 2-2 draw away at Southampton and then we thumped Sheffield United by four goals to one, leaving us fifth in the Premier League, um, which is beyond all expectations at this point in time. And so we come to Everton today away and this is going to be a mark of have we improved as a team since last season. It does look like it but Nothing's for sure at this early stage in the season. And so, uh, without much ado, um, Everton, who are in 12th, we are away, we are in 5th, and let's go and play some football, I would say, and see if we can outsmart Everton and um, take the three points here, and who knows where that will put us in the title. Um, title race possibly <laughs> you never never know with FM um, but I think it's all going to fall apart very very soon the team that we've selected today is Balcom in goal Soppy, Balik, Maras and Kovic at the back um, Zamara's form is very poor at the moment despite him being a very consistent player so we've brought in Kovic today and Bielen, Hackney and Tukum will play in midfield with Rita, our wonder kid, and Lavery and McNeil up front. We've switched McNeil and Lavery because I, uh, I think that might be working a little bit better and we've got Lavery playing up top now with McNeil as the false nine. Let's get to the match and uh, let's play some football and see if we can... If we can beat Everton, we have never beaten Everton. In fact, we've never got so much as a single point out of Everton. So we're pretty much looking forward to this. We are going to play very attacking, as we have been doing. And we are going to see what happens during this game. And immediately, it seems like Everton have all the possession. Um, but that's a poor ball out from the back. And Kovic brings it forward. But he's looking backwards and he finds Maras. Maras to Bielen. Playing it around very nicely. Um, we're not, uh, we've reduced the tempo a little bit to try and get our passing to be a little bit better, a little bit more efficient as McNeil. McNeil's a long ball forward to Soppy. Soppy into the box and we have scored. And Lavery has scored and maybe changing McNeil and Lavery over um, and putting Lavery as the advance forward has done the trick. And that, uh, oh wait, there is um, a VAR review, but it has been awarded and it is Everton nil, Newport one, and that's a great start. We do tend to start very, very well um, with this high press and um, we have taken Everton by surprise there. Um, Soppy made a beautiful dash down the right and his ball 
inside and lavery put it away off the post and um yeah great start um in this what is this amazing season as balcom finds soppy soppy tries to bring it up the way but he's lost possession but he wins it back and that's well done by soppy um and he finds balcom balcom to kovic kovic we're playing um two fullbacks who are not regular starters in this game as McNeil fires it in and it is 2-0 <laughs> and that is Lavery again but is it offside I think we're going to have another VAR check but I got a feeling this one is going to be given off so, but it's not it is Everton nil Newport 2 Kovic making a beautiful pass down the line he finds McNeil McNeil out wide sh low cross into the the box and Lavery was on hand to fire it past the goalkeeper it is 2-0 and the season start just keeps getting better and better and we have, I think, made some selection um, changes um, which have worked for today. We do need to be very, very careful, though. A lot of them are lacking in match fitness. Um, and we'll need to keep an eye on who is tiring as Lavery comes forward again. Can he score? Can he get his hat trick? He's been driven wide. And that's a good block this time. Lavery, though, he finds Tukum. Tukum, who's having a very good start to the season, but Tukum can't find. Um, Lavery with the return pass and Everton bring it forward on the counter attack. This is a great start from Newport. Um, we are creating chances apparently from set pieces so we will go with the assistant's advice on that. He is very good at opposition instructions and um, set piece advice so we'll, we will take that advice. Um, he's not great at marking advice as Rita looks to um, play in Lavery but that ball is overcooked slightly and so I think we're coming up to half time and we were doing very very well that's Kovic heading it out he f and Everton though have the ball back and it's a bit messy in midfield um, we just need to just keep possession keep playing it around don't do anything silly now and that's much better as Balcom and Balcom fires a long ball upfield and that is not the best um, thing to do at this point in the first half as Everton look to bring it forward and there's a ball over the top and they are in and Calvert-Lewin has put one back and it is now Everton 1, Newport 2, the worst thing that could happen before half time and it really was a case of we didn't keep the ball and panicked a little bit, Calvert-Lewin made the break and um, it's now 2-1. We do have players who are not match fit um, and yeah just checking the offside and he was onside. Um, we have players who are not match fit and we may need to think about tactically can we keep this press up um, for the whole game. Um, but we are ahead, we're happy with that performance, we need to keep going um, not be complacent and we're going to go back to attacking them again we're going to put the high press on um, see if we can't catch them out early in the second half we are at fourth in the league at the moment this game never ceases to amaze me and Rita who's not having the greatest of games he's given the ball away again as Everton look to come forward and that's another long ball over the top to Calvert-Lewin and that is a great tackle um, and I think maybe we need to think about reducing the um, reducing the line uh, lowering the line a little bit because they are playing this ball over the top Maras is also not having the greatest of games we're just going to tell him to uh, get his act together, demand more from him um, and also uh, Rita is not having the greatest game either that he's ever had and I think those two I really don't want to substitute those two because they are fitter than any of the other players but we've brought on Kurjan who um, 
has the potential to be a Premier League player, but he hasn't actually ever shown it yet. As Calvert-Lewin races into the box again, he is a nightmare for us at the moment. And Everton are looking to get themselves back into this game. And they are looking for a long-range shot, and that is a great save by Balcom. And we just about managed to clear the ball. It's still, with 10 minutes left, it's Everton 1. Newport 2. It's now, I think, become with very tired players on the field. It's become a, a case of trying to hold on as we have another chance. And McNeil, McNeil, he's forced to pass it backwards to Kovic. Kovic has lost the ball. And that again is an indication that we are tiring. As Everton fire it over the top once more. And Calvert Lewin has a chance, but that's a great save by Balcom. And they lick. Plays it back to Balcom, who fires it up the field. There are just... <laughs> we are into time added on now. And I don't want this to be a repeat of Southampton, where we give away a goal in the dying seconds. But here come Newport. Can we score? And that's a poor pass again. And here come Everton on the counter. Good tackle, but it falls to Everton. And they're in. And this is probably the equaliser it is. And, oh, no, my worst nightmare. We do give, like Southampton, we do give away late goals. And we have thrown away another 2-0 lead. We have to somehow find a way to stop this happening and um, we may need to adjust the tactic for the last 10 minutes of a game but never mind it's 2-2 um, away at Everton nobody could have predicted us getting that we are four, fourth in the Premier League at the moment <laughs> dizzy heights indeed we're going to tell them that they were unlucky today but it doesn't seem to motivate them very much um, and we just leave it at that, I think. I can't see anything else that we can tell them. And um, basically, what, what, uh, what, is, what a season so far. There are 10 games gone now, um, and we are fourth in the Premier League. Liverpool um, and Tottenham do have a game on hand, um, and we probably will drop down a little bit by the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, fabulous, fabulous start. <laughs> this is, FM never ceases to amaze me. We don't um, have a team capable of doing this. Tactically, we've worked hard um, and they seem to be gaining momentum in the tactic. But let's have a look what's coming up. Um, and you can see that um, October was fairly good. Two wins, two draws, we'll take that. We have Manchester United, Burnley, Brighton, Newcastle coming up. I think we'll probably come back for the Bournemouth game, our arch rivals throughout the save, Bournemouth. Um, Charlie McNeil going back to his old club. And that will be an interesting game. And that hopefully um, will be a game that we can win comfortably. There, there are games here that we can pick up points, I'm sure. And hopefully we will do just that and be sitting in a very nice position when we all come back again. And that's it for this video. Um, don't forget, subscribe, watch, like and comment and help the channel to grow and help us to support this very, very worthwhile cause that we are championing. And um, for now, though, um, that's it for this video. And all uh, remains to be said is I think I'll probably need another lie down and uh, we will see you in the next episode.